Hey, what's up, Intermediate Strings? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to do a little guided practice tour through the Essential Elements Book 2, Songs 2 through 9. Let's get started with the D major scale. We'll play it all at the same time, and then we're going to put it into a round. Song number two. Two. Ready. Go. <laughs> Alright, now let's put it into a round. And when we're playing half notes, remember to use equal weight of the bow from the frog to the tip. We want equal sound, and we don't want to create bell tones which are heavy at the beginning but then kind of fade out. So full volume with the full stick of the bow. Group one. One, two, ready, go. Right, next up, we have song number three, D major arpeggio. Remember, an arpeggio is just a broken chord. It is the scale degree number one, three, and five. So in the key of D major, D is one, F sharp is three, A is five. And then we play another high D, but that's actually just considered one. One, two, song number three. play each song twice. Let's try song number three again. One, two, ready, go. We're going to continue on to song number four now, D major mania. One and two and song four, go. Let's try song number four again. If you're violin viola, remember to use that fourth finger on measure three. Don't use open A. Song four. One, two, ready, go. Next up is the theme from the London Symphony by Haydn. Notice it says legato under the first note. That means extra smooth. So relax that bow arm, relax your shoulders, 
Uh, don't tense your legs and just play this song as smooth as you can with the slurs. One, two, ready, go. play this song again, I just want to make a quick musical suggestion. In measure three, and also the last one, two, three, four, five, sixth bar of the piece, we have four A's in a row. Please don't play those A's all in the exact same way. Put a little crescendo through that just to give it a little bit of movement. Let's try it again. Legato, song number five. One, two, Ready, go. Now we're going to turn our attention to song six. We are in 3-4 time, not 4-4 four, four anymore. Remember, put a little emphasis on beat one. Not an accent, just a little emphasis on beat one. <clears throat> Number six. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try that again. Song number six, D major in threes. One, ready, go. Next up, we have song number seven, Dynamic Contrast. Now, dynamics are how loud or how soft we're playing. Notice under the first note, we have forte, and we have the day crescendo marking all the way to piano, and then we have the crescendo marking all the way back to forte. It's not that you want to press with your bow. You really just want your arm weight to sink into the string. Song number seven, start forte. One, ready, loud. And 
let's try song number seven again. Set your bow. One, ready, go. Next up, we have Morning from Pierre Gint. Uh, Grieg is a really cool composer. You should check him out sometime if you like classical music. Song number eight. Start off soft. One, ready, go. <laughs> play song number eight again just remind yourself there are dynamics to follow there's slurring if you're a violin or viola there are fourth finger a's all right try and get it all in one ready soft Last song of the day, song number nine, Barclay. It is forte, and there is a decrescendo at the very end of the first repeat. We will go back to the beginning, and then the second time we play it, remember to skip over the first ending and finish with the second ending. Also, yes, you do have to do all the slurs. One, ready, go. <laughs> Song number nine, one more time. One, two, three. Great job, you just completed lesson number one. See you next week.